Hello. I hope that your first three weeks of the spring semester have gone well. Thank you for taking care of yourself and our community with our three-week remote learning start to the semester. I know it's been a long road and we're not yet at the finish line, so please stay the course. There has been good news about vaccines being available for selected groups, but we just can't let down our guard. To our students, Thank you for participating in on-campus COVID-19 testing and for being responsive as we've asked you to help identify close contacts. We'll continue to offer testing throughout the spring semester, and so far we have seen low numbers of COVID-19 positive students, and that is a very good thing. I want to stress my appreciation to those members of the IUP community who are behind the scenes, keeping us safe and healthy. They don't get recognized enough for their work, so I was very pleased to see the recent IUP Now story, Sanitizing Campus, a True Test, about members of the Administration and Finance Division and their work. The writer calls it an A-plus effort, and I wholeheartedly agree. You can still find that story on the IUP website if you didn't catch it. We had quite an exciting Wednesday with the announcement that we exceeded our Imagine Unlimited campaign goal. $81.36 million is an incredible achievement, and it speaks to not only the generosity of our students, employees, alumni, and friends, but to the incredible commitment and passion that people feel for this institution. These donors believe in us, in you, and in IUP's ability to change the lives of its students. I know you join me in that belief because of the dedication that you, IUP's faculty and staff, show to our students day after day. Our students are incredible people. They make me proud every day to be a member of this IUP family. You know, our strategic plan promises our commitment to being a student-centered university, and Imagine Unlimited will help us continue that focus. You'll hear more about the campaign from Vice President for University Advancement, Katme Osran Hanna, next week as we continue our Facts, Initiatives, and Results series. I hope that your schedule permitted you to watch the first video of that series with Vice President for Administration and Finance, Dr. Deborah Fitzsimmons and me, discussing our enrollment and finances. It's very important that we understand the facts of our current situation so that we can move forward in the best possible way. As you no doubt know, Monday marked the beginning of Black History Month. I really encourage you to participate in the programming being offered throughout the month. There is literally something for every interest. The calendar of events is available on the diversity calendar on our website. And while there are many outstanding events, I want to highlight particularly five dangerous myths about black people in America presented by IUP doctoral student Jeremy McCool which kicks off our six o'clock series on Monday, February 8th at 6 p.m. I encourage you to join the program virtually if you can. I'll be there. In addition, this past Monday's IUP Now featured a very interesting feature called Our First Black Students, Our Pioneers. It's fascinating to read the stories of these students and of former president, Dr. Willis Pratt, who took a stand for our students of color. They have left very big shoes to fill. And throughout Black History Month, the IUP Athletics Department will celebrate former African-American student athletes and coaches and their contributions and accomplishments with the crimson and gray. These salutes will be posted to IUP's athletics social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, hashtag BHM, hashtag Talents Up. If you haven't had a chance to read IUP now yet, I really hope that you can make some time to do so. The Marketing and Communications Division is doing great work, and I promise 
that the stories will make you proud of our students, our faculty, and our alumni. Despite the restrictions of this pandemic, our faculty are continuing to do great things. Just a few. Human Development and Family Science Program faculty member Dr. Kalani Palmer won a faculty award for excellence in advising from a national academic advising organization. Biology faculty member Dr. Shandong Bi has made discoveries that make headlines around the world. Dr. B and a colleague from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History have found a new specimen that represents an evolutionary stepping stone between fossils from the Mesozoic era and living mammals. And he and his collaborators have discovered a dinosaur preserved sitting atop a nest of its own eggs that include fossilized babies inside. IUP is also getting recognition with news about IUP former assistant football coach Nick Sirianni, who was named head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles. Nick is the third member of the IUP football family to earn an NFL head coaching position. He coached at IUP from 2006 to 2008. And while the Steelers aren't in the Super Bowl on Sunday, you can know that our region is still well represented Anthony Paroli, a 2008 graduate of IUP's exercise science program, is the head strength and conditioning coach for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'll continue to be in touch throughout the semester, both through these videos and through the facts, initiatives, and results series. Stay warm, stay well, and wash your hands.